Jason Chow. What's up, everybody? All right, we're at Golden Rivers. A lot of things have changed here. I want to go over the pricing of apartments and give you a full tour of the grounds here and why you would possibly want to live here. I absolutely love it here. It's been nothing but fantastic. There are a few issues, which I'll also talk about, that can help you when renting a unit. So first things first, let's take a look around. It was just raining. I was going to shoot this at night, but it looks like it might rain tonight. There's a lot of new additions of stuff here. We're going to start this way and then come back around, but a lot of new things. This K market's pretty awesome. It's a Korean market, so they specialize in Korean goods from Korea. They also get a bunch of American stuff too, but really, really good grocery store. They have high quality meat. They get good chicken. Uh, lots of really good stuff going on over here. I shop there all the time. One of my favorite uh, stores here. There's three pools here too, so like, and they're pretty massive pools. They're pretty awesome. We'll show you them on the way back after we go to the park. And the park is pretty great too. You really can't go wrong with the park. But a massive amount of these places are getting rented out and flipped into businesses. These were empty for years. A lot of places moved on. There's an organic shop here that sells all organic food. It's a little bit pricier, but if you're really into organic, they've got everything organic that you could need. Vegetables, all kinds of stuff. So also very nice to have. This is, uh, there are a lot of these are here now, these, these fennies and like this uh, Korean uh, real estate, a bunch of real estate companies moved in. So it's really uh, expanding here in a quick way. If you do like this video, I would appreciate it if you do subscribe to the channel. There's a gongja down here, which is uh, boba tea, a really high-end one, really good. And then there's a mini stop down there as well, which is also pretty good. This one has not been rented yet. I've continuously been saying that they should have put a McDonald's in here. I don't know why McDonald's didn't put one in here. They would absolutely crush city if they put a McDonald's in here. And then you've got Vin School over here. So it's a very difficult school to get into, apparently, but it's one of the best. So if you've got kids and you can find a way to get them into that school, I guess it's a really good school. So yeah, I think you have to pay a, a big fee to get in there, like kind of like around the world. It's also set up really nicely for kids. So if you do have kids, I mean, look at this play area over here. We'll kind of hook in. And I'll show you, and here's one of the pools. I love it here. I have absolutely fantastic say. They got one of these get fit in 25 minutes, which is not possible. I don't even, who's really gonna, I never see anybody using that. And then another like little place like this, like a visa place, which I imagine will be uh, hop a lopping pretty quickly here. So then you got like a whole little kids park here. And this thing's awesome. If you were a little kid, that'd be pretty dope. You got a Vinmart over here. You got another haircut place over here, Euphoria. Now these services are gonna be more expensive because they're here. Sorry if there's wind noise. I've been trying to shoot this video for a week. It's just been windy every day. So hopefully there's not much. I can take some away in the editing. And then this guy's new. He just opened this uh, over here. This is a rug place. I don't know how well that'll do. It's been open a week. I don't know, maybe there's a market for high-end rugs here. I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see. And then another one of these uh, real estate companies, Zeal. These seem to be really, really hot here. There's like five or seven of them now. I think it's because they want to be in the bougie, bougie place. And then look at the pools. The pools are awesome. You can't really beat the pools. They're all this good. Now, they do get packed on the weekend, all three of them. I swim during the day on the weekdays and I swim at peak sun on the weekends and there's nobody in the pool. It really gets used from 4 on, like hammered down from 4 p.m. on. This used to be a violin, no one's rented this yet, but there's no for rent sign, so it's possible that someone's rented it. This is the way I was going to walk back, but we'll just walk in the front and then dip back in. Again, another huge gymnasium for the kids. As you're seeing right here, this building here and this track is the subway and there's gonna be a stop right directly here, right by the school, which is pretty awesome. So we'll talk about that. And I'll give you a projected timeline on the opening of the first line. They're trying to say 2024 now. I really think that's ambitious. This is for rent. I don't know if this will ever get rented because the location is so poor. You know, it's on the backside of the first building. 
They've got plenty of great outdoor equipment. Each building has a full gym with a Smith rack with full heavy weights and dumbbells all the way up to 20 kgs. I won't show you the gym. It's probably the only thing we won't see. Maybe we will, but it's, it's just a typical full gym. A uh, bunch of treadmill machines, an elliptical. Uh, it's got all of it. If you're really in heavy lifting, it might not have what you like really heavy. We're talking like if you need to bench over, which I doubt many of you are going to bench over 200 kg here, but if you need weights like really, really heavy, it might, you might have limitations. But here's one of the real showstoppers to this place that none of the leasing agents show you when you rent it. They always forget or they just don't know it's here themselves is we have a park. We have a really, really big park actually. It's a really nice park. And now they've added this uh, outdoor area. I'll take you over there. But the park's fantastic. I have some drone footage of it. Maybe I'll try to find it and throw it in here and now. If not, drone footage adds nothing to my videos. So that's why I don't use the drone much. You don't need a drone video for your YouTube videos. It's like proven. So many big YouTubers have proven it. Like Harold used to use one all the time and those were like his worst viewed videos when he was doing the castles. Castles. But yeah, look how great it is. I'll take you out over here. Hopefully the wind isn't bad. I apologize if it is. I couldn't, <clears throat> this was today's video and I had thought about it for days. So you've got a full barbecue area. Now you do have to book it and there's four things. People tend to just book one and then come and take what they can, you know, in kind of typical fashion in Vietnam, bending of the rules. But yeah, most people try to just rent one and then take all the tables and chairs for like a party of 20. I think it's supposed to be limited to like six, but it seems to work out. There aren't any real big problems with it. Now the cost of apartments here has really, really not changed at all. It's in fact, I'd say down 10%. These are the buildings in all their glory. So this was the first building built here, Aqua 4. Aqua 3 was the second finished building. Aqua 2 was the third finished building. Aqua 1 was the fourth, and Lux was the final building built. Technically, this is supposed to be a Lux 7 that Masteries is building now. But that has turned into a different project, so it's Masteries now. These units sell for around a million dollars with an ROI that is just not obtainable. A lot of the units are selling really high in Golden River, but you'd be a madman to buy one because the ROI is just, you know, I rent my apartment for what, 525? And, you know, 525, I think the lady paid 750,000 for it because I'm on like one of the top tier view, top floor units that looks at the zoo, which is probably the best view. So you got the subway coming right here. So there's a stop right here, which is awesome. They've just bought back the Saigon Sensation, which is the night cruise boat. We haven't done it yet. I'm interested in doing it, but as you can see, they put all new chairing out here. I don't quite want to go out there because the wind is so bad. And then another kid's playground. So really it's kid friendly. It's really singles couple friendly too, or single person friendly. There's another workout station over here. This guy's getting his lift on. But yeah, the prices of apartments, you know, you can get a one bedroom on furnished for 12 million on a, on a little under, you know, floor 25 or under, which is usually way cheaper because you don't get any kind of view and it's louder. There's usually kids and all this stuff going on. So those usually don't uh, rent as high as the other ones. And then a furnished uh, unit starts anywhere from 15 to 17 million. This is one bedroom all the way up to 22 million if it's like in lux and really nicely done and it's on a top floor. That's really the big difference is. A two bedroom can start at 900 now and go all the way up to 1400, of course, depending on what it's decorated with, what kind of couch, if it's wallpapered, they use this really fancy wallpaper here, if it's got big proper TVs. So when you get the cheaper units, they're usually got cheaper stuff. They've got a you know, smaller fridge, They've got like a small 40 inch TV that's four years old already. A lot of the stuff's already pretty, um, not that great. So if you're gonna be living here long-term, I recommend do what I did and try to find like a half furnished. I mean, that's the way to go and then get your own stuff. Like I prefer to have a nice TV and it's not crazy to buy a nice TV here and you can resell it pretty easily. I'm sure you're gonna lose like 30%. A couch, I think we're, we got our couch made for like 6 million. 
and it's a nice couch, you know. So those are things to keep in mind when you're going over the units. If you just want a, a turn and turn and play, it's going to be about 17 million for a decent one bedroom. This is also one of the most sought out views is these end views here to these buildings because they're looking at Landmark 81. I guess people really like the look at Landmark 81. I prefer to look at the zoo, but it, it's all your choice, you know. There's just some really great units here and there's a pretty good community of people here. So, yeah. The Aqua, that's what the first one's called, the Aqua. There's a Highlands Coffee over here. It's really nice. They've got two really, really good restaurants here now. The one is banging, man. Me and Winnie really liked it. I got Mapu Tofu, and then we got a braised, a braised beef uh, Vietnamese stew. It was super, super good. We both were like really impressed with it. Not too crazy expensive. It was like uh, 80K per dish. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more. And now there's a pho, a pho place. So, and you can come walk across, along this river. If this is 6 p.m., there's 100 people walking this for exercise right now. And it's not too crowded yet. It's starting to get more and more crowded. People are aggressively like moving in here. It's been happening over the past two months because there's good deals to be had. And I suspect once like people are really coming back here, once they offer long-term visas in the next month, in like four months, we'll see a lot of inventory kind of just go away. Now there are caveats to, to things to look at when you're running these units. A lot of these units have the sun setting on their balcony all day. If the sun is setting on the balcony all day, when you go to look at it, you can't use the balcony during the day. It's literally probably 100 degrees on that balcony. You can go out there for like 30 seconds at a time. But if you're a smoker or anything like this, you're gonna want a view of either, you know, the ends, not ones that are having the sun on them half the day. Again, I really like the zoo view units. Most people that rent the zoo view units stay pretty long term. So another thing you wanna check for is the air con. They do have a slight bit of issue in some of the units with the air conditioning to where it just doesn't properly work. My unit now has kind of that problem. It just, I just have to constantly clean it. I don't pay them to clean it because all they do is take the vents down and clean it and drain the water from it out of a little hose, which I know how to do by myself now. So I just get up there and clean it myself. But that gets it, gets the trick. But I would say the trick you want to do for that is set it to like 22 Celsius, because that's what it's at when you're looking at the unit. And if it can't get below like 26, 27, you've got a unit that has a faulty air conditioner. It's a whole problem they have here. Um, hopefully Masteries isn't using the same company. And I've noticed it's kind of a Vin Homes problem. Um, and the Chang, the Vin, the Vin place we stayed at there, the Vin Hotel, which is kind of almost looked identical to these, had the same aircon thing, and the aircon wouldn't go under like 25 degrees Celsius, which is comfortable, but like, you know, you know what I'm saying. So check the aircon in both rooms, let it be on, make sure that it gets down the temperature. So I'll show you some stuff over here. All the kids just got out of school, so you're gonna see a bunch of kids. Another playground for kids. As I said, it's just extremely a kid-friendly place. And then I'll show you some of the pool up close as well. We'll go show you these restaurants down here. I think they're down here. And one of them's down here. But I mean, I run around this place. I swim here. I use all the amenities. I have to lubricate the, the lifting machine in my building. It's not a big deal. I lubricate the Smith rack like once a month because they don't do any maintenance, which I think you kind of find that almost everywhere in, in Vietnam. You're not going to get a perfect, perfect unit in my opinion, but it's really good. For the price and the location, I think the location's smacking. Some people think the location here isn't that good. Personally, I think the location's really, really nice. I'm going to link the video to my current apartment so you can take a look at it, at what that kind of money gets you. And then I will also link the one to my first one, which was a two bedroom. And we didn't really need a two bedroom, although we could use the extra space. So this place is new. They just opened. So now we got a fa place. They got Faga for 60K. That's like what, 10K more than usual fa. 
I mean, and then they got a bunch of other stuff on here. <coughs> People are eating here all the time, by the way. So, this one got rented. I don't know what it's going to be yet. And then they've got a really cool seating area here. You can come and sit here anytime during the day. There's a bunch of tables and chairs. I guess like at 1 a.m. on weekends, there's a bunch of people out here drinking. And then here's another one of the pools. I mean, as you can see, they're awesome pools. They're pretty big. You can really get a swim on. They're about 30 meters long. So I do about 30 laps and that's almost right around two kilometers. That's what I do every day. And I just, I do them nonstop now. I can just click them out. They've even got like a little kid's water park over here. I'll show you. Then I'll show you all the cool stuff that they've added in the past. In the past three months, they've added a Korean bakery. They added that really good uh, Vietnamese restaurant up here in the front. And then here's the water feature. This turns on with water. And the kids can play here with their parents. Run around on water like a little water park thing. Just a nice little touch. go around the corner here and then they've got a kids pool too so if you've got kids every pool has the kids pool so the thing is, is is if you know central central's packed all the time like right now there'd be like 20 kids at each one of these pools there'd be 100 people swimming you still have an opportunity to use this stuff here because it's not completely overpopulated and to be honest with you i wouldn't mind because i swim when no one else uses the pool so here's this new restaurant that just opened. They're closed for a day for something, probably some kind of a repair that they didn't notice. But it's really good Viet food. I was so surprised at how good it actually was. Gotta say, it was, it was banging. So, and this is new, this just popped up. And then this used to be a 7-Eleven down here and now it's an Atelier uh, Korean bakery. And they got, I don't know if you've ever been to a Korean bakery, there's lots of yummy shit. So this is what it looks like when kids get out of school. This is a Masteries guy. When you go and look at a Masteries project, they take you to Aqua 4, to a <laughs> Vin Holmes project. So they, I think they just copied the blueprint because they're literally showing uh, Vin Holmes units to sell the Mastery project. And then this is the last pool here. As I said, they're all like really nice, cool pools, man. And then you've got a farm city over here. So if you need access to a pharmacy, you just jump right over here, get a pharmacia. And then this is the nice cream. Now I know this is gonna be windy. Let's try to get out of it. This is the Korean bakery. They actually have good chopped salad. They've got some nice uh, actual gourmet uh, sandwiches. And then they've got, you know, typical Korean style where you go and like pick different little things like frittatas and stuff like that. There's also a spa over here. It is expensive. I think it's like 600K just to get your hair cut, which is like double the price of anywhere else. As you can see, it's pretty lively though. There's a lot of people here. This is because school just got out. Then there's a 7-Eleven right here. And then the GS is over here. I guess let me go show you the, the gym and the rec room. Let me go do that. They do have a rec room too, where you can play uh, ping pong and they have a conference. They got a couple conference halls. So I'll show you that now. See you in a second. All right, so this is the rec floor. This is the conference hall. The kids playing ping pong right now. I'll show you. See, you got a whole little conference hall here. You can play ping pong over here. You can read a book here. I never showed this on the last story. I don't even think I knew it was here. And then another seating area and a printer. I forgot about this. So they do have a public printer. So if you need to print something. I didn't figure this out until today. So I actually walked in here. I pre-walked around, pre-shoot. Deck of cards down here, play cards. Kid's not bad at ping pong. And then your gym is over here. I'll show you the gym so you get an idea. Everything is fingerprint security. So, and it works pretty well. You just make sure you do a good first fingerprint. But then you've got a Smith rack here, as you can see. You've got a chest machine over here. You've got a cable cross over here. 
You got two benches. You got a whole thing of dumbbells over here. You got three treadmills, one elliptical. You got a leg machine over here, shoulder machine here. You got a sit-up machine over here. You got lockers to put your shit in. Full cable cross. And then they've got some biking, biking machines over here. Biking. So I should make Vin Homes give me money. I've probably rented 20 of these units from people from my, my videos here. If not more. I meet someone almost every couple months that's like, oh, I saw your video. Then they have a little kid's play area. Which is here. In the clubhouse. So, we got, let me show you. More seating area. And then they've got like a full little kid's room. Like a, a bouncy ball thing and a trampoline. So, pretty cool. He's getting his cable crosses in. Get it, brother. All right, guys. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some insightful info. Parking is 200K a month. It is underground, gated, secured parking. There's three floors of parking. If you have a car, I think it's 400K a month or 1.4 million a month. If you have a car, I think it's a considerable amount more. Um, but they do have great parking. They even have charging parking if you have an electronic vehicle. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this gave you some insight. I know a lot of you planning to uh, come and live here. So, I made this video to help you guys out. See you on the next one. Stay frosty. Peace out.